Is it the Card Market Coliseum? Is it the Card Market Feature Match? I don't know, but it's Yaman and Carl playing Paper Magic. And we're playing in another format this time around because Wizards of the Coast is going to release pre-constructed Pioneer decks. So we're here to find out how good they are. Yeah, actually, they are quite strong. Wizards has a habit of building meh, pre-con decks, but if you're not used to Pioneer, these are great introductions into the format. They have full playsets, most of the rares, and most of the cards that make the deck tick. They are quite strong. They are. Uh, so one more thing. I I know usually you think Carl is the one asking you to subscribe, but this time I'm asking you to subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, leave the subscription right there. They heard it up! <laughs> Into the game! So when Carl suggested playing pre-con Pioneer decks against each other, I knew which one I had to play. Weird combo decks are my jam. Carl picked Mono Red, and Lotus Field against Mono Red is kind of a tough matchup because Mono Red really doesn't give you a lot of time, but you have two creatures in your deck that are extremely good, especially pre-board. Arboreal Grazer and Fae of Wishes are both extremely good against Carl, especially the Grazer, because it both puts a land into play and ramps us, but it also blocks so well, so Carl usually has to spend a card on each of those creatures to get rid of them. Okay, Pioneer, I am very excited. So for new players coming into this format, one of the best ways to learn the format is to just turn creatures sideways and let other opponents figure out what they're playing. Now, Mono Red is really simple. The game plan is just playing a bunch of creatures, burning their face with your spells, which pumps your creatures. You're playing Bomb at Courier to then refill your hand later on in the game. You're playing Light Up the Stage to then draw more cards. The point is we're just going to use every card we have to try to get his life total as low as possible before Yaman combos off or against any deck just before they stabilize and get to do anything their game plan already was. Yami Kauf, I missed you! It's been so long! It's been a while. Where were you? There were so many strangers in actually, here. Actually, Carl, we just sat beside each other in the intro. Shh. Okay, oh, they don't need to know this. Um, you might have missed, I don't remember if last time you were here you had this, we roll off on camera now. I know, so, I know. All over the table, above ground. Keep it on the. I'll try to keep the dice on the cable, uh, on the table. Very well, very, very well aimed. Very poorly rolling. Very poorly <laughs> I can't aimed. I this myself. Um, and roll. Oh, yeah. Equally so. Go ahead. Equally poorly. Eight. No, you go first. I'll go first. Which um, will come in handy since you know my deck this time. Yeah, and so do you. I hope you learned the deck list card by card. I'll have to take a mulligan. I'll mulligan as well. Oh. <laughs> now this hand might look cute, but it doesn't have any of the things we need against Carl. It doesn't have blockers, it doesn't have a quick lotus field, it doesn't have any sort of combo. No, we're shipping it back. We need something better. This hand is just not gonna cut it. Every spell we have has to go towards reducing Yamin's life total. Now we have two spells that draw more cards in the end, but if all he does is play any blocking creature like a grazer on turn one, we're never going to connect with that bomb at Courier. That light up the stage is not going to do anything and his life total is not going to be pressured. We can't keep this. Down to six. Uh, we still draw seven though, which True. is neat because we cheat. This is a tough one, Carl. Ah, uh, it's a tough one for me too. <laughs> I'll keep and I'll bottom this card, Carl. This one I, is very weak. While this hand doesn't have a creature either, it at least has a straight up game plan. On turn one, we pass. On turn two, we Sylvan Scrying for Thespian Stage. On turn three, we play Lotus Field. And on turn four, we cycle the Vizier of Tumbling Sands to generate one additional mana. Then we can copy the Lotus Field with the Thespian Stage, leaving us with two mana for Hidden Strings to untap both Lotus Fields, having access to six mana. That's so much mana on turn five. Hopefully we can combo from there. Also, I would still like to draw a play that we can play on turn three, in addition to the Lotus Field. Okay, this one is equally, actually this card is crazy strong, but not in my hand. This one is tough, but de debatable. Like we can, we can keep this. We're not gonna wanna keep the Bomb at Courier. We do have only one land, and usually Bomb at is what draws us into more lands, but we do wanna cast a Light Up the Stage. Now, we have a few Wizards that let us cast our Wizards Lightning, so the plan is to play a Wizard, then if he plays a Grazer, or even worse, a Fae of Wishes, we can kill it down and manage to get some damage through with the Wizards Lightning, so we can't keep the Bomb at because we need something that lets us cast our Wizard Lightning for one, even if he bounces or does any tricks, and then we're gonna hopefully get to cast the Light up the stage eventually, so we can draw more lands and get this rolling. All right, well in that case, good luck. Off to the races. Go ahead. Oh, no Grazer. Um, I'm going to play around Net Ruins. Oh, good card, it was good banned card. in standard. And I will take one. 
You can't say Azul's car mage. So you're down to 19. Down First to 19, blood. yeah. And I'm the aggro deck here. <laughs> Pass the turn to you. I'll untap, I'll have my upkeep. Drawing a forest here isn't great, but we still have another draw next turn to draw something to play. Ideally, it would be a Fey of Wishes because we could float two mana, play Lotus Field, and cast Fey of Wishes to block all of Carl's creatures. Play Yavimaya Coast. Okay. And cast a Sylvan Scrying. Ooh, very good. I'll get a Thespian Stage. Unfortunately, oh. it's only into my hand. This would be so broken! <laughs> this would not be Pioneer. I'm tapped into play. <laughs> that would be a good card. Go ahead. I will untap. Sure. Draw off your turn. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go for damage. Sure. 19 all. 19 all. 19 all. All right. We're gonna play the Viashino here over the light of the stage because we do want the card advantage, but we really need to get under him as quickly as possible. And if he just Lotus Fields and Fae of Wishes right here as a blocker, we're kind of stuck, so we really want to keep that Wizard's Lightning in hand. Um, then I'm going to play a Mountain and play a Viashino Pyromancer, bringing it down to 17. Sure. Keep the beats rolling. 17, pass the turn to you. I'll untap, and I will take a draw. Oof, another forest? That's real unlucky. This way I can only play Lotus Field and pass. Carl? Yes, Yamin. I will float two mana. What kind of color are you playing here? Colorless. Ah, oh, gotcha. No, you got me there. I'll play Lotus Field. Okay. I'll sacrifice these two. Yes. And I'll pass the turn. Oh, this is... Go ahead, it is very is slow. Is this my birthday? It is your birthday. <laughs> I'm a Oh, this is, this is really exciting. Okay, no more keeping up burn. We're gonna hit him straight in the face right now because if we deal that damage, we then get to cast light up the stage for one. And if we hit a land off the top, we get to play it, play a hasty lava runner and get him for a lot of points of damage. Oh no, is this a big damage turn? It's a big damage turn! Uh, I will hit you for three. Yes. Um, because I have a lizard wizard, it only costs one mana. So I'm down to 14. 14. Then, I will take one. You're not the only one taking damage around here. 18. Yeah. Two, cast, light up the stage. Oof. Oof. I will exile the top two cards in my library. I have until my next turn to cast them. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to see. That's okay, not so much of a big damage turn. I will keep these here. I will declare tax. Yep. I will hit you for five. Uh, I had two uh, prep triggers on this. I will consider eight damage a not bad. big damage turn. Okay, you go down to nine? I do. Um, pass the turn over to you. So setting up for a six mana turn, I would love to draw pour over the pages because we will have two lotus fields in play. So pour over the pages would not only draw us a lot of cards, it would also net us one additional mana. So kind of stuck on lands, eh? Uh, I'm not the one who came here with seven mana spells, so I can, I can take it. All right, I'll untap. Oh, so this is the person who has one land on turn three. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a draw. All right, everything is coming together. I have one card I really want to draw. Okay. We haven't drawn really well yet, but maybe we can find something off the cycling of the Vizier. I'll play a Thespian stage. It's pretty good. Let's me copy another land for two mana, mm -hmm. but I won't do that just now. Instead, I'll float three blue mana. Mm -hmm. I'll spend two of that on cycling a Vizier of Tumbling Sands. <gasps> what does it do when you cycle it? When it cycles, I may untap target permanent. No, I, I, I just have to untap target permanent. <laughs> no choice on the matter. <laughs> Anyways, I'll untap this Lotus Field. That's so I have one target. blue floating, and then I'll float another three blue, making four blue mana. I also get to draw a card off the cycling. Okay, how many blue floating do you currently have? Four. Another land really doesn't help us here. With that mana, I will pay two of that, to copy the Lotus Field. So oh. now I have two, two floating, but I do have two Lotus Fields. But how are you ever gonna untap them? How am I ever gonna untap them? I'll cast the Hidden Strings. Oh, that's how you're ever gonna untap them. You currently have no blue mana No floating. blue mana, but I do have two untapped Lotus Fields. And then I will use this Lotus Field to gain three blue mana, spending one on an opt, which lets me scry. That's how you draw cards. That's how I draw cards. Just put it on the bottom. I'll take my draw. I still have two blue floating and I'll use that mana to cast a strategic planning, looking at the top three cards of my library. Okay. Picking one, which goes into my hand. And the rest go in your graveyard. Exactly. I guess I'll pick this one. Uh, putting a peer into the abyss, another thespian stage into my graveyard. Oh. And then I will tap this for three green mana. Okay. 
which I'll use to put oh, no. Arboreal Grazer into play. You have two green floating. I do, and then I'll put a land into play tapped from my hand, okay. which is another Thespian stage. So these two are Lotus Fields, and that's a Thespian stage. All right, I will untap. Draw for turn. Okay, I thought about this turn long and hard. And the best play I see, because most of them bring him down to five, is to hit him in the face with a Searing Spear, so that I can light up the stage, hopefully drawing a land. If I play, draw a land, I get to play a Lava Runner. If I attack, Yavin's gonna have to block my three power creature, which hits him down for four, bringing him down to three. If he goes down to three, I can then untap and hit him with the Searing Spear if he doesn't combo off. This is the best angle I could find. So what I choose to do here is I will Wild Slash you yep. to the face. Down to seven. Down to seven. This will allow me to cast Light Up the Stage for one, taking one. Down to 17. Dean, 10 point <laughs> difference. I'll exile this and this. Well, that looks like what you wanted to see. It's exactly what I wanted to see. I'm gonna cast this mountain. I'm gonna play it. I can't cast it. What I can cast is a G2 Lava Runner. All right. This had two triggers from both yep. of these spells. I would like to attack you with these three creatures. Yeah, I get... yeah I'll, I'll block the Soul Scar Mage. Okay, this dies, you take four. Down to three. Down to three, pass the turn over to you. All right, we really need like dig through time or pour over the pages here to keep going. It's time to summon the one time. Okay, Heart of the Cards. Heart of the Cards, let's see what you got. All right, this opt might still get us there. Let's see. All right, I'll float three blue mana. Okay. And then I will cast an opt, going down to two blue mana. One time. One time. That goes Did to the bottom. Did you not summon the one time? Uh, one time, okay. once again. Heart of the Cards. <laughs> Did you find the heart of the card? I mean... At least like the foot of the card or something? Uh, maybe it is the foot of a card. I'll play forest. Yeah, that's the foot of the card. And I'll pass the turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna untap. I'm yeah. gonna draw. I'm gonna attack. And uh, that's game two. Oh, game two! <laughs> so we couldn't bring you these pre-con decks without first thanking our sponsor, Karma Crow, for lending us all the cards. Yeah, because we couldn't get our hands on the actual pre-constructed decks yet, Karma Crow had to help out, and they're amazing at that because they have this huge inventory on Card Market. Basically, all the cards, they're one of the oldest power sellers on Card Market. If you want to have all your orders combined in one shipment, like having all the cards at once shipped out to you within three days usually, then you just order them off of Karma Crow and receive them very quickly. We left a link in the description below. If you go, you click there, brings you to their page. You can browse their inventory, get deck boxes, get some sleeves, get all this stuff with your order. Just order once and you pay shipping once. It saves you a ton of money, but... For now, that's it's time enough. to get into game two. I'll take out one peer into the abyss here because it's not great against Carl unless we're really comboing off that turn. And I'll put in the Sweltering Suns because that's a card I feel like I need to play on turn three or four and don't really have the time to tutor it out with Fae of Wishes. Sideboards! Okay, we're gonna take out the Bombat Couriers because they rely on attacking and surviving to be able to eventually draw the cards. Yamin can block them from turn one. They don't turn on all of my Wizards Lightnings. And even though the card advantage is important, Yamin can simply just untap and win on turn four, so we're not getting there with them. Similarly, Bone Crusher Giants, although they burn and give, put a big beater on the board, they don't burn for enough to get through most of his creatures without having to combine it with an attack. And playing a non-hasty three mana creature just is too slow for these matchups. We're bringing those out. What we're bringing in is Roiling Vortex. Now Yamin's deck wins with Omniscience. It's a card that costs a lot of mana, but Yamin has mana spare and lets him play all his cards for free. Usually he has to tap out for it, meaning that if we have Roiling Vortex on the board, he has to take five damage for every free spell he casts, meaning sometimes he just won't be able to combo off without dealing himself enough damage to just lose on the spot. We're also bringing in two Searing Spear, because although they just deal two damage, in combination with him blocking with a Grazer or a Fae of Wishes and me dealing two damage to it with one of my creatures, I can then kill off the creature and still deal three damage to Yemen, which advances my board and still reduces his life total. Take two! <laughs> Let's try again. Would you like to be on the play? I would still like to be on the play. Maybe, okay. maybe it gives me better odds. <laughs> your, your deck was not kind to you. I'll keep this one though. 
Gonna stay with the seven. So this hand is much, much better than the one we had last game. Turn one Grazer, turn two Lotus Field, here we go! I would like to keep this one as well. Yeah, this is just a good hand. I have a Monastery Mentor into a Pyromancer, into two Burn Spells, three lands to cast them. Just, just exactly what I want going on. Let's go. Let's do this. Turn one, I'll play a Forest and I will play a Grazer. Yavin! How dare I? I'll put a Yavimaya Coast into play. Okay. Go ahead. Ah! Um, I'll draw for turn. I'll play a Mountain. I'll hit you for one. Block! No, you're not supposed to see those plays. Uh, I saw the line. This is how you make it to the Pro Tour. I'll pass the turn. No damage. No damage. I'll untap. You will. I'll take a draw. And I will pay two for another Sylvan Scrying. Okay. Similar to First last one this game. game. Yeah, but last game you didn't have this annoying monkey's law. True. I love how in German it's called a bestie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bestie. bestie. It's actually pronounced bestia. <laughs> well, way to ruin it, young <laughs> elf. I'll get a lotus field. That's a good one. And I will play said lotus field. Oh, that's real good. Go ahead. I will... Attack. Block. Sorry, bestia. Your bestie's dead. I love to see resources spent on my bestie. Yeah, yeah, you take three. 17. I will pass the turn to you. I'll untap, I'll take a draw. I'll float three blue mana. I'll cycle a Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Okay. Which untaps this, leaving me with one floating blue mana and I'll draw a card. Yes. I will then play a Thespian Stage, which I will copy the Lotus Field with, leaving me at two floating blue mana. I will then... Untap two lands. Untap both of those. Oh, so good. Leaving me with no floating mana. However... How is this a pre-con deck? <laughs> <laughs> I will float... How? How is anyone walk, gonna walk into an LEGS for the first time and be like, yeah, this makes sense, this I'll, is very simple I'll stuff. I'll pick up this deck, this is easy to play. I'll float three mana, I'll spend two of those to dig through time. So leaving me with one unspent mana, okay. and I'll dig through time. Call this field's great. I haven't resolved this spell in so long. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll take two of these cards. That's what the card says. And then I'll, I'll put the other the other ones on the bottom. Okay. So I still have four mana floating right now. Blue? All blue. And I'll uh, cycle this Vizier of Tumbling Sands, leaving me with two unspent blue mana, drawing me a card. And then I'll tap this to have five. I'll spend that five mana to pour over the pages. I'll draw three. I will um, discard one and I'll untap up to two lands. Yep. And Carl, would you like a coffee? <gasps> it says Yamin on it too. It says Yamin on oh, it. You, you may carry on. I, I've got stuff to do now. Y yeah, you were starting to get bored. I, I, I'm a very sensible man. <laughs> um, I'll float one blue mana to cast a strategic planning. which I will take one card off, putting the other ones into my graveyard. I will float a total of four blue mana to cast another strategic planning, floating two mana, looking at my top three cards, putting one into my hand, the other ones go into my graveyard. And then with the remaining two mana, I'll cast the Fae of Wishes and pass the turn. <sighs> Have you finished your coffee yet, Carl? No, it's kind of cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is not the blocker I wanted to see. I'll draw. Sure. Uh, I wish this was a wizard. It's basically a wizard. It's a monk. Same thing. Monks Same of thing. Waverly Place, <laughs> Hogwarts, School of Monkery. It's, it's all the same. I'm going to play this Remnant Ruins. Tap it, pink color is here for a Viashino Pyromancer. Putting me to 15. Putting you to 15. And I will attack you with my Hogwarts Monk. I will block. 
I will Wizard's Lightning. That is one expensive Fae of Wishes. I know, but I don't want you to get it back and then tutor for stuff. That makes sense. I will pass the turn to you. I'll untap. You will. I will upkeep. <laughs> And I will, you will upkeep. <laughs> I will upkeep. This game is going so well. I'll just sweltering suns to buy time for yet another lotus field. It's all going my way. Um, I will cast a sweltering suns, dealing three damage. Oh, yum and kauf! Very yeah. rude. And then I will play another thespian stage, and I'll pass the turn. You got all the time in the world. All the time and all the stages. Draw. I'll play a land, and a Soul Scar Mage. I see all the scars. No, I don't. I, I don't I, see any scars. Oh. Yep, that's the glasses. <laughs> yeah. I will pass the turn over to you. End of turn, I'll copy my Lotus Field. So, so now you have three. Yeah, I have three. Doesn't look like it. Three Lotus Fields, nine mana. I'm sitting well. All right, I'll draw. I'll float three blue and three green. Okay. Uh, I'll spend four of that mana, leaving one green and one blue to uh, cast the Adventure of Fave Wishes. Yep. I'll choose a non-creature card I own from outside the game. That one is Omniscient. Oh, that one's good. It is, however, it's very expensive at 10 <laughs> mana. Yes. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll spend the remaining mana to cast a Sylvan Scrying. Yep. So many, so many thespian stages. So many thespian stages. The economy stages. in your town is booming. It the is. The arts are so sustained. Uh, and I will play a Temple of Mystery, okay. scrying one, putting it to the bottom. And I will top all of it up, off by casting a Fae of Wishes Such and a good passing luck. the turn. Uh, untap, draw. I'm gonna declare tax. Block. Oh, clever man, Yankov. I'm going to. It worked the first time. It worked the second if time. If I get rid of all your fair wishes, how will you get the cards out of your sideboard? Carl spending cards on my blockers is so good because that's all damage that doesn't directly go to my face. I'll play this mountain and pass the turn. I'll untap. This is a lot of mana. This <laughs> is so much. I'll draw. You've got right. ten, casual 10 mana on board. <gasps> That's how you cast your omniscience. I do! No! <laughs> All right, I will cast a spell from my hand and I'll choose, I, I, I have the choice now. I have the choice between paying eight mana or paying zero mana. I'll pay zero. No, I actually won't even pay zero. I just won't pay its cost. I'll play a dick third time. Yep. No, don't even need to delve. Just yeah. casual spending the big bucks. Mr. Monopoly over here. Looking at the top seven. Yum Incorporated. Taking two. I will then pour over the pages, oh. drawing three cards. You don't uh, even need to untap the lands at this point. I'll discard a card with pour over the pages and I'll untap two lands. I'll cast another pour over the pages. Okay. Draw another three cards. And discard one. And then I'll untap two more lands. I will cast an opt, or oh, getting back the coffee. Getting eh? the coffee back, yeah. Uh, I will scry, put that to the bottom, draw another card instead. I'll cast another opt. <laughs> scry one, keep that on top, put it into my hand. Drawing cards is fine, but if we don't find an acquisition or a fey, we can't really win. I'll cast a strategic planning, looking at the top three. Taking one, putting the others into my Your storm graveyard. count is insane. My storm count is so high. Um, I'll cast a strategic planning, <laughs> looking at my top three cards, putting one into my hand and the other ones into my graveyard. Blocking with the Fae of Wishes earlier really wasn't a great idea. I was too focused on preventing all the damage I could. Now I'm running low on action because of it. I'll cast an Arboreal Grazer putting a Thespian stage into play. Another one, I won't put anything into play. I will, for the land for my turn, I'll play another set Thespian stage. I'll cast a Sylvan Scrying, searching my land, my, uh, my library for a land, putting it into my hand. I will 
cast my final arboreal grazer, putting it tapped Temple of Mystery. Is that your fire. hand? That is my hand. <gasps> What's all the intelligence in the world if you don't have another <laughs> fan wishes? Uh, I'll scry one, put that to the bottom. Woo! Okay. Using all those resources to kill those Fae of Wishes paid off. Yamin didn't manage to find one that he could then go get a combo piece with. So he's top decking, he has no more cards. We're at a top deck war, but my cards deal damage and his are just a lot of lands. Uh, let's just hope he doesn't get into a Fae of Wishes to combo off this time. Go ahead. I will untap. I'm going to play a Lever Runner. A key to Lever Runner. And... Pass the turn over to you. I'll untap. I'll take a draw. I'll cast an opt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that gets you in there. I'll scry one. I'll put it to the bottom. I'll draw a card. I'll pass the turn. Wow. I'll draw. Play a mountain. Pass the turn. All right. I will take a draw. I'll pass the turn. How are we playing draw go here? I have an omniscience in play. I just need like a single card of action. I will draw. Play this Viachino Pyromancer. All right. You take uh, two. Yeah, I'm down to 13. Down to 13. I will pass the turn. I'll untap and I will take my draw. I will cast another off. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> Let's scry. All right, I'll keep that on top. Oh no. I'll yeah, cast a pour over the pages. Oh, no. I guess technically I'll float six blue mana. Might as well. Might as well. I'll draw three cards and discard one. I will untap these two lands and I will cast a Sylvan Scrying. That one. Do you even have a land left in I, your deck? I do still have oh, lands left you. in my deck. Um, and then I will peer into the abyss myself. Dealing seven damage to myself. Do you round up or you round down? Round up each time. Ooh. So you go to six. Six. All right, I found all the action I needed. I think I got it now. Now I will... Adventure away a Fae of Wishes. I'm grabbing myself. An approach of the second sun. Ugh. That gains you a lot of life and wins you the game. It does. I'll cast an approach of second sun. You go back up to 13? 13. That's a combo. That is a combo. You, you just need... Oh, yeah, there you go. The combo is not catching, uh, casting second sun twice after having a bunch of mana. It's gaining the seven life back after losing the seven life. Exactly. And then I'll cast a Mastermind's Acquisition. You get to get a card from your deck. I get to get... Which would you I like have the choice of four cards in my deck, Carl. <laughs> I'll get the Approach of the Second Sun. It says, uh, if Approach of the Second Sun was cast from your hand and you've cast another spell named Approach of the Second Sun this game, you win the game. <gasps> I, I guess we're going to game three. We do go to game three. Game three, I'm on the play. So I'm bringing in two Bwamak Couriers because sometimes they will get in quick enough that I can deal with the card advantage. And it also gets me a few attacks before hitting the Fae of Wishes. Fae of Wishes eats my Bwamak Couriers, but Grazer doesn't. So I can attack for free into a Grazer and just use it to draw more cards later on. And I'm bringing, in two, bringing out two Bone Crusher Giants. They're good, but they're just slow and it's not what I want to be doing on the play. I've got more pressing things to do. So this time I'm on the play? Uh, that doesn't that doesn't sound good for me. I came with Mona Red. I have to play like I have a plane to catch. So, good seven? For me, yes. <laughs> for you, yes? It's, it's not how it works. I'll take a good seven, Carl. Ugh, that's a lot of land. The light of the stage doesn't do much unless I play it on turn three with the Viachino Pyromancer. The Searing Blood is probably going to be want to play it on that turn anyway, so I need to play the Pyromancer on turn two to attack with the Searing Blood. It just doesn't shut the door fast enough. We can't keep this. I'll have to take a mole. Same. Oh, wait, we don't like our hands this game. No, our, our deck not. is not nice to us. This hand is not playable. It's just far too clunky. I have to find something better, ideally with the blocker on turn one or two. Okay, let's hope our decks are nicer to us. One land! We're gonna have to be really lucky on this one. At least we get in with the bomb at courier once. And then, if he doesn't have a grazer, we get to get in with the bomb at courier twice. 
and cast a light up the stage. Also, if we draw land, we do get to start playing our creatures. We are gonna have to be real careful of Sweltering Suns here, but I feel like we can get under him fast enough that this hand just has the potential. We're gonna take out one of the Pyromancers because although they're really good, if we don't get the lands rolling, they're just gonna be stuck in my hand. Um, there's a lot of risk involved, but I'll keep. Same. This hand is still not ideal, but at least it has the Fey of Wishes going for it. I can't really go down to five only to find an Arboreal Grazer. All right, so let's kick things off with a, another card I missed oh, to no. play. Mountain Bowman and Courier. Boma Courier. Would you like to take one? I would like, oh, I'm, Boink. I'm so happy to take one, Carl. 19, I will exile a card under my Boma Courier. Pass the turn to you. I'll take a draw. Drawing the Temple of Mystery after already keeping a land-heavy opener is really tough. And I'll play a Temple of Mystery. Ooh. Let's see how mysterious the top card of my deck is. Mysterious enough for me to keep it. That's not so mysterious. It's more mysterious if you put it at the bottom. True. Go ahead. I will untap, draw for turn. That's exactly what we wanted. No, don't say that, Carl. I'm going to... Swing at you for one. Sure. This is gonna trigger. We were playing fast and loose before, but this is before it hits you. 18. I would like to cast a Soul Scar Mage sure. and a Gitu Lava Runner. Yep. Go. Carl already has three creatures on the board. This is too explosive for me. I'll untap. I'll take a very mysterious draw. <laughs> very mysterious draw. And I will cast a Fey of Wishes. This is blocked very well. Go ahead. I will untap. Draw yep. for turn. Oh, this is no. going to be a good turn. Yeah, I I'm imagine so. I'm going to declare attacks. Yep. Attack, trigger. Yep. I mean, I kind of have to block the Bowman Carrier here. I'm going to, since this is not a monk, this is a wizard, I'm going to Monk's Lightning your Fae of Wishes. So it gets three minus one minus it's one counters. It's a zero one. This triggers. It does. Block here. Yep. You take four. Three. True. You take three. Fifteen. Fifteen. Then, since you've taken damage, I'd like to light up the stage. Sure. The stage is lit. Oh, as a young would say. <laughs> <laughs> as a youth, yeah. what a lit stage. Um, I'm going to play this Remnant Ruins. Sure. Can I just exile with light up the stage? And pass the turn over to you. I'll untap, and I'll take my draw. So it's turn three, and with this opt, I really want to find an Arboreal Grazer or something to set up the later turns better. I'll cast an opt. <laughs> okay. I don't mind seeing an opt right now. I'll keep that on top. It's not a mysterious opt. It's not a mysterious opt. I will cast another opt. Oh. I'll put that to the oh, bottom. Oh, opt of mystery. It's the opt of mystery. Take my draw, and I'll play a tap Lotus Field, sacrificing okay. both of these lands. Go ahead. Draw. Untap? Yep. Draw. Play a mountain? It's a lot of mountains. I'll declare attack? Sure. I will swing in with these three. Trigger? No blocks. <laughs> Very clever move, you haven't yeah. um, You will go down to... 12. 12. Yeah. We're gonna tap out here to play both pyros. Just, we wanna get his life total as low as possible. And if I don't have any cards in hand, next turn, I can attack with Bomb at Courier, sack it, and have a one mana card that draws me five cards and deals four damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will cast this Vision of Paramancer. Sure. 10. I will cast this Vision of Paramancer. Eight. Eight. And that's where the countdown ends. I'll pass the turn over to you. Carl, this one looks tough. This, this one does look pretty tough. I'll untap. I'll take a draw. This is looking grim. It is. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine permanents. You have one. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how to combo. There is a very good card in my deck, Carl. Damn it, I forgot to play around Sweltering Sun. You did, you did <gasps> not play around Sweltering Sun. Oh no, I didn't keep that yeah. up. Let, let's see if I can find a Sweltering Sun somewhere. <laughs> and this pays for three red. 
Um, I'll play forest. Yep. And I'll float four mana. Yep. And I'll only float two blue mana now, I'm tapping these. Okay. So then uh, I will float a single blue mana uh, to cast a pour over the pages. All right. Which lets me draw three cards. Untap two lands, and now I have one blue mana floating. With, actually I still need to discard a card, I'll discard that <laughs> Yavimaya coast. Uh, with that one blue mana floating, I'll cast an opt. All right, okay, that's not as scary as I expected for the moment. I mean, let's find out how scary it really becomes. Please don't make it long, I'm out of coffee. Scry one. I am pretty certain that this card is not good enough. <sighs> okay, opt of mystery. Opt of mystery. <laughs> um, yeah. Opt of mystery one time. That's not looking good, Carl. Ooh. Ha! Ooh. So I'll cast an Arboreal Grazer. Okay. Put into play a tap island. And I will... At least I know you're not going to swelter in suns on your bestie. So. True. Pass the turn. Whew. Back to the red tide. I will untap. Draw for turn. Play a mountain. Declare attacks. Sure. Attack with everything, this will trigger the Bombat Carrier. Yeah. I'll, I'll block a Pyromancer, I guess. You will take one, two, three, four, five, six. There are two instances or sorceries in your graveyard. You go to two. I go to two. I'll sacrifice the Revenant Runes. That's, that's the game, Carl. Good game. Good game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that Sweltering Suns, oh my god. Carl, couldn't I just top deck that Sweltering Suns once? You were so greedy. Well, no, you're greedy. You only have one Sweltering Suns in your deck. That's what I call greed. And you greedy people over here, if you do want to save money on your next Pioneer deck, on the October 15th, when the decks come out, I would recommend Mona Red's pretty good. I mean, it was pretty good this specific game. But for now, if you want to see specific decks being played in this show, just leave them below in the comments. Modern, Pioneer, we're not sure yet, but... We just, just like playing Paper Magic. And while you're there, please, there's a sub button. If you're new to this, we really rely on you guys subbing so we can grow the channel and play other formats. It would really do us a solid. Yeah, but for now, it's time to say goodbye. Until next week!